Hi, I'm Michael Fry. Now recently I posted two videos about using curves in Photoshop, Lightroom, and Camera Raw. But today I want to talk about something that's perhaps even more fundamental, something you might want to do with raw files before adding curves or correcting white balance or really doing anything else to an image. And that is choosing a profile. Now a camera profile is a translator. It translates the colors that a camera captures into the colors they should be. In other words, if a certain camera tends to turn reds into orange, the profile will correct for that and convert those reds back to their proper hue. Profiles can also come in different flavors, so you can design a profile to maybe have a different color palette. You know, maybe uh, one profile might be more saturated, another might be less saturated, one ha might have more contrast, another less, and so forth. Now in Lightroom, over on the right hand side of the develop module, you go all the way down, go back to the top, all the way down here at the bottom of that right hand panel, you'll find the calibration, camera calibration panel. And under there, next to the word profile, a little pull down menu with perhaps some choices. Some cameras may not have any choices, um, but most you'll find at least a few. And with Canons and Nikons, you'll probably find quite a menu here. All of these profiles here are standard ones that Adobe has made for my particular Canon camera, uh, Canon 1DS Mark II, except for these three here, which are custom profiles that I made. And if you have a Canon camera, you'll probably see something similar to these other choices, except for the custom ones here. And uh, Nikon cameras, you'll also find quite a variety here as well. Now let's take a look at some of these. My sort of default standard is ACR, or Adobe Camera Raw 4.4, which seems to give me the most consistently accurate colors for most images. Um, we'll take a look at some others. Here's Adobe Standard. Uh, you can see that it changed the yellows and oranges, uh, turned them more red. Uh, Camera Faithful, which seems like just a slightly darker version than that. Camera Landscape is a very exaggerated, sort of saturated version. Um, none of these are necessarily right or wrong, although I think this one is really uh, a bit over the top. They're diff just different flavors that you can choose. And I recommend going through these and selecting a profile that you like for that particular image to start with, because that will affect all the other choices that you make later about the image's contrast and color and so forth. Now, not all raw software has uh, choices about profiles. Some, some raw programs do. I believe that Nikon Capture and Canon's Digital Photo Professional both have some choices, but I don't know for sure since I don't use them myself. Um, I gather that Aperture does not. But whatever program you're using, if it does have a choice about profiles, that's something uh, I think it's worth looking at. Now I mentioned that I have some custom profiles here. Uh, the people at X-Rite loaned me their color checker, passport, target, and software, which you can use to make custom profiles. Uh, it's a little plastic uh, case with uh, a target inside. In fact, I'll show you what that looks like here. So I took a picture of it. Here's what that looks like. And so you can carry this around with you and take photos of it in different lighting conditions and create profiles from that. And the idea is that you can match or create a profile to any specific lighting condition, no matter what it is. Uh, I'm going to go back to that previous image, and uh, I'll show you three custom profiles I made with that, uh, with this image again. One is, uh, I call it 1DS Mark II Sun. 1DS Mark II is my camera model, so subtle difference there. Shade, 
Uh, another kind of subtle difference. Dusk probably won't be appropriate for this photo. Kind of tends to turn it green. But um, some different flavors, not really a radical difference, um, but perhaps some different flavors or choices to work with. But in a different situation, uh, I think that this might be more valuable. So uh, I used this picture, in fact, this very photo I took here of the target uh, while photographing, photographing some flowers at dusk one day. And dusk tends to be difficult lighting conditions that uh, uh, often are, are kind of hard to handle. This is what ACR 4.4 looks like with this photo. I think the it looks okay. Uh, the greens are a little off, I think. They're uh, kind of gone a little bit red and a little bit muddy. And the other standard profiles, like Adobe Standard, if anything that's even worse, uh, Camera Faithful, so forth, uh, don't do much for the greens either. But uh, I created a profile. It's very easy to do with uh, XWrite software that comes with the Color Checker Passport. I created a profile from that target that I just showed you that I took a picture of uh, and called it 1DS Mark II Dusk and that really did a good job with the greens. That is really what I think they're supposed to look like. So I think uh, in this instance under kind of a, an unusual lighting situation um, creating a custom profile really helped and if you have uh, maybe you're not you're not satisfied with any of the standard profiles for that are available for your particular camera you're not satisfied with the colors that you're getting uh, you might want to look into creating some custom profiles as well or if you maybe photograph under some unusual lighting conditions a, a custom profile might help now there's one more situation where uh, choosing a different profile could be helpful um, and that is when you have noise or banding or posterization those kinds of things or so sometimes you have that that kind of stair step thing where you should have smooth gradations between tones and like sky and water but they don't turn out to be so smooth uh, this is an image where with the standard profile that I usually use, ACR 4.4, if we go down here and look at the water, you can see some problems. Um, you can see some noise and just uh, an overall dot pattern as well as kind of a grid, some horizontal lines and some faint vertical lines, which to my mind is even worse than the dot pattern. But if we look at some different profiles here, we might be able to cure that. In this case, the camera portrait is uh, a good one for the water down here. It really smooths it out and really helps to lessen the noise and that grid pattern. So if you have a photograph that has any of those kinds of problems with noise or um, banding, anything like that, you might want to look at some different profiles and see if there's a better choice. Now of course that changed the color. Here's ACR 4.4 and here's the camera portrait. Um, but I think the color here is pretty good, certainly something I can work with and the noise is a lot better. So that's a look at profiles and camera calibration. As always, your vision, your way of seeing the world is the most important thing but certainly in translating that vision into a finished product color is important and choosing the right profile can help you get the right color the color that works best for the image and what you had in mind when you originally took the photograph that's it for today thanks for watching